In this lesson, we're going to talk about how to generate a heat map report. A heat map is a graphical representation of data represented by colors. The normal function of a heat map is used to analyze the visit times or dwell time of customers in a configured area. Now, of course, in order to use the heat map functionality, you'll need to have one of our cameras that supports heat mapping. You'll need to add it to your system and then finally configure the heat map rule. This is done in Hike Central's web client, but generating the heat map report is done in the Hike Central control client. So I'm currently logged into my Hike Central control client and we're looking at my dashboard. I'm going to go to the video analysis area and I'm going to select heat map. The first thing I want you to notice is the left hand side of the screen, which is a navigation tree of our different devices and or areas, depending on how you have your system configured. Now, if you try to generate a heat map from a camera that doesn't support the heat map function, you're going to get an error message. So let me just show you real quick. I'll go to my demo NVR. I'm going to choose this camera here. And very quickly, I'm just going to choose a report type of a daily report for today. Hit search and notice the error message in the upper right hand corner of the screen that says no heat map data. This camera either doesn't support it or it hasn't been configured. Let's take a look at a camera that does support heat mapping and has been properly configured. So you'll notice that we have an area here called heat mapping. I'll open this area up and here is my heat mapping camera. Now I need to choose the type of report that I want to get. Let's take a look at the list of report types. We have daily reports, weekly reports, monthly reports, annual reports, or a custom time interval. Now if I choose daily report, and then I go to my calendar area, I can choose any specific day that I want for this report. If I choose a weekly report and then I select my calendar, notice the calendar is broken down into weeks. And when you get to the appropriate week, you can click on OK. Next we have the monthly report. And in this case, I can simply just choose the month from 1 through 12. And course the year, assuming I have data going back into a previous year. So choose the year and choose the month. An annual report. The annual report, I simply choose the year. And then finally, the custom time interval, which when you click on the calendar function, gives you two different calendars, the to time and the from time. So I could say choose from June the 5th over here till July the 13th and click on OK. Whichever report type you use, you see that there's great flexibility in there to choose specific days, weeks, months, years, or specific dates. In this case, we've got our custom time interval. I go ahead and click on search, and now I'm going to get a heat map display that covers that specific time period. And as you can see, based on this legend in the lower right hand corner, the more activity and dwell I have, I get reddish colors. And the less activity and dwell I have, I go all the way down to blue. So as you can see in this vestibule area, here and here, I have the greatest color intensity of red because, let's face it, these are the corridors that feed into this vestibule. Now certainly in a more realistic application, such as a retail environment, we can gain very important information from our heat maps based on what's actually going on in that area. And we can use that information to drive the way we do business or to rearrange things or whatever it happens to be based on the application where the heat map is being applied. All in all though, the steps for actually generating the heat map are quite simple. Once you're done with the heat mapping function, you can go ahead back to the home screen and continue on with other functions of the Hike Central Control Client. Stay tuned for our next video, which will cover people counting.